Hey, what do you say weekend warriors? Today we're doing a sausage, egg, cheese, egg bread. This is a Korean street food. It's very popular. I'm doing it in the smoker today, so it's gonna kind of be my take on this. And I'll leave a link below to a really awesome video. I saw it about two o'clock in the morning. Made me really hungry. That's where I got the idea for this. Let's jump right into it. This recipe comes together really easy. We start with two cups of pancake mixture. I'm gonna go three tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of whole milk, two eggs, no shells. I'm gonna give a couple shout outs here too. So I got these eggs from my buddy's mom, Kim, who lives in Pennsylvania. I wanna give a shout out to uh, William Burgley. Appreciate you, brother. And uh, last but certainly not least, a little shout out to my friend Sang Lim, who uh, resides in the Chicago market. He's my go-to when I need to know anything about Korean food. So thank you, Sang. Combine this really well, no lumps, just like you're making, you know, regular uh, pancake batter or waffle batter. In the video that I watched, this was on a real uh, street in Korea at a real food stand. His batter was super thick. It almost reminded me of like a cornbread batter. So I started doing a little bit of research, uh, found a couple good videos, a couple good uh, websites with some recipes. Um, this one seems to be, I think, the one most people will try because you can just go and buy the uh, pancake mix and not have to start from scratch. So this is looking pretty good. Uh, looks like his in the video. Nice yellow tint to it from the eggs. And I'm just gonna work out these lumps. All right, so that's done. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna butter these. These are hot dog bun molds. Uh, if you go to that video, they were using something similar to this. I'll put a link to these in the description below. I'm just warning you, they're gonna sell out fast. Anytime I do this, uh, these things tend to sell out. So if you wanna do it, I would get them quickly. Then what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of melted butter, letting the sun melt it for me. And we're gonna brush the insides uh, so nothing sticks. Even though these are non-stick, we're gonna do it anyways. And then here's your next move. You're gonna fill up each of these halfway with the pancake batter. Don't go more than half because we're gonna be putting a big sausage in there and that'll make this overflow. So just do your best guess. I'm going about a third of a cup to start. And this is great. The kids are gonna love this if you got kids. You get as creative as you want. You could put leftover pulled pork, bacon, breakfast sausage, you name it. Okay, next thing he did is he put an egg in each one. And then interestingly, uh, what they do is they poke the yolk and they give it a light uh, beat inside of here. I'm not sure why they don't do it um, in a separate bowl, but I'm just gonna follow what they did and we'll see how it turns out. Just being careful not to disturb the uh, pancake mixture too much. Just gonna break open the yolks. Then next up, they put a little bit, I think it was salt or maybe it was sugar. Since I've already put sugar in my pancake mixture, I'll just go a little bit of salt on top of the yolk. Just a little bit of table salt. Okay, next up was a half a piece of American cheese. All right, so this is a jalapeno cheese smoked sausage. It's pre-cooked. I'm thinking this guy's probably a little too big, but let's see what happens. Yeah, that'll work, I guess. We'll try that. So we'll go two of those. And then I've got two Johnsonville Betta Cheddas. So these have cheese in them as well. They're smoked sausages. That looks good. 
And then last but not least, looks like they put a little bit of uh, mozzarella cheese on the ends. So you got the American in the middle and then the mozz on the ends. And because I don't want to make a mess of my smoker if these do overflow, I'm going to put them on a baking sheet. Now I've got my smoker set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't have to use a smoker, I just thought maybe a little wood fire taste would be good. You could do this in your oven if you want. So here we go, let's get them in the smoker. All right, we'll pop this door open. I've got a tiny bit of water down in the pan. When I cook at this high of a temperature, I get nervous about grease fires, so there is a little bit of water in the pan. I'm gonna put those in right there. Now we're gonna close the door and pray. All right, so this is one you're gonna have to keep an eye on because I'm not sure uh, what you're gonna set your smoker to. Some smokers don't have a 350. You might be at 300, you might be at 325. You wanna keep an eye on it. They should turn a nice golden brown on top, nice and puffy. Of course, you want that sausage heated through and the cheese melted. So we're gonna keep an eye on it. I'm guessing maybe 20, 25 minutes. We'll come back, take a look at it, hopefully cut them open and give them a taste. I can't wait. All right, we're about 20 minutes in. Let's see how we're doing. Looking good, all right. So uh, this one over here is starting to brown up a little bit. Don't know if you can see that or not. And that's what we're looking for. We want it brown all across the top. This back one's starting to brown up, but still not quite ready. So we're gonna push them back in, see how they look in maybe another five, 10 minutes. We'll be back. And that took about 30, almost 35 minutes to get to this point. So just an FYI, they look awesome. We're going to uh, just give it a little bit of uh, dried parsley. Looks like that's what they were using in the video. Maybe I can dump it over. There we go. These are still really, really hot. So this one here is the uh, better cheddar, the smaller of the sausages. Oh my God, look at that. Look at how juicy. Woo! And here's one of the bigger ones, the jalapeno cheddar sausage. Oh yeah. Oh my God, does that look cool or what? You got the egg white, looks like the American cheese. And then here's the yolk on the top. Wow. I'm gonna get a bite of this one. Here we go. Mm. Whoever thought of this is an absolute genius. The, the pancake batter, a little bit of sweet. I've got the jalapeno sausage, all the cheese and the egg. That is really something else. I love it. Hey, if you love this video, definitely check out one of those two right there. And I'll see you over there.